Hi, I'm Mira. Today we are going to talk about cervical fluid. What is that, you say? That's a great question. Cervical fluid, um, also called cervical mucus, some people think of it as discharge, but my preferred terminology is cervical fluid, or CF for short, is produced in the cervix which is the bottom part of the uterus. And if you want to learn more about uterine or reproductive anatomy or pleasure anatomy, then check out some of my anatomy basics videos on my website and upcoming. So <clears throat> this is just an introduction today. It's not gonna be exhaust exhaustive. Cervical fluid is that stuff that you might have noticed in your underwear when you go to the bathroom or at the end of the day. You might not think it's normal or you might wonder if it means if you have a yeast infection. So today we're going to talk about the difference between healthy and unhealthy fluids, how to distinguish between them, and some examples of what healthy fluid can look like. I'm going to give you a demonstration using regular household products, so not cervical fluid, but stuff that looks like what cervical fluid can look like. So let's start with healthy versus unhealthy. Um, healthy cervical fluid is comfortable. It smells good like a body or kind of sweet. Um, and there's never any pain. So anytime you have any pain, itching, redness or swelling, tenderness for no apparent reason, um, any kind of discomfort, any kind of vulva or vaginal discomfort, that could be a sign of an infection. Um, any fluid that smells really bad, that's like chunky, like cottage cheese, that's green, frothy, any of those things could be signs of infection. So again, no discomfort, no really bad smells, nothing green or frothy or cottage cheesy, all of those things, go to a clinic, get it checked out, get a culture. Um, and other than that, most likely it's healthy cervical fluid and everyone's bodies work differently. Uh, in terms of the fluid that they produce and when it starts and how long it lasts. So there's a really big range of normal and where you fall in that is um, unique to you. But we're gonna talk a little bit about that range. So cervical fluid is produced under the influence of estrogen in the cervix and it is a healthy sign of uh, fertility <laughs> It's a healthy sign of a fertile body. Um, in general, when you see cervical fluid, it's an indication that you're in your fertile wave. And maybe you are already checking your cervical fluid for the symptothermal method of charting or for the fluid only method of charting, that's great. Maybe you're just checking it out of curiosity. Maybe you're not checking it at all and this is the first you've heard of it. Any of those things are fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fingers to demonstrate with these little items here. So you might notice cervical fluid on your underwear when you go to the bathroom. You might notice it on the toilet paper. Or if you're checking it on purpose, then you'll notice it on your fingers. So it's going to look a little more like that in today's demonstration. And perhaps this will inspire you to start checking it. All right. So... Your cervical fluid <clears throat> will change over the course of your cycle, perfectly normal, um, and the more estrogen that you produce, the closer you are to ovulation, the more um, abundant and fertile, nutrient-rich your cervical fluid becomes. At the beginning of your cycle, it might be very subtle beginning of your fertile wave, excuse me. It might be very subtle. If you're not checking with your fingers, you might not even notice it at first. But if you are, it might just look kind of like a little bit white or a little something different, a little tacky on your fingers. 
See that kind of little, very subtle. Anyway, that was a glue stick. Um, the first time you notice it, maybe it'll look more like that. Just a little bit of whiteness. On your underwear, it might look kind of um, patchy or like a, some streaks, some white streaks it might look kind of dry. As you move deeper into your fertile wave, you might notice more of it. Yeah, this is a lot. That's fine. It's totally normal. It's kind of smooth, thick. Yours might not look that way. Maybe yours looks much thinner. Again, it could change throughout the course of the day. Definitely change day to day. Change cycle to cycle. All those things are normal. Maybe it's really kind of smooth and thin. Maybe there's a lot less of it. When you check, you just notice, oh, there's something on there. As you move closer to ovulation and your body is producing more estrogen, then your cervical fluid becomes higher in water content. So it'll start to look a little different on your underwear, <clears throat> a little more like round um, patches, less kind of uh, stringy or, or long. <coughs> Excuse me. And it might start to feel more wet as you wipe or as you move throughout the day, you might start to feel gushes of water or little trickles of water. And it might look like that, really quite watery and thin. You might start to notice that you're getting some slick feeling. So maybe you have some kind of lotion-y that then starts to stretch and peak as you pull your fingers apart. And you might have gushes of something that looks kind of like opaque water. Super fertile cervical fluid looks very much like egg white also. So this, this is an egg white, but it's not an exaggeration. Your cervical fluid can look very much like this thick, stretchy, can be several inches of stretch, really smooth, kind of lubricated. Might even feel quite lubricated as you walk. When you wipe, you might notice a really lube kind of a feeling. These are my words. Yours might be different. The way you feel and describe it, different. That's fine. This is super fertile. Um, you might have a tinge of pink or brown in that, a little bit of blood from ovulation um, or from your last menstruation, just moving through your cervix, that's fine and normal. Uh, shouldn't be much blood, just like a little pink tinge. You might not have any at all. If you have that regularly, you might want to get it checked out. Um, and you could, again, have that kind of egg white stuff with some white. So it might be like something like that. And these are all variations of normal and healthy cervical fluid. After you ovulate, and you're no longer producing that, you might produce other kinds of cervical fluid that are not fertile, but um, still healthy. So remember, anytime you see any fluid that is produced by your body that's not causing any discomfort, then chances are it's healthy. So this was just an introduction. If you want to learn more, please go to my website, 
mirawild.com. Feel free to email me uh, for an appointment. I teach classes on the fertility awareness method and sexual health, both online and in person. And I make more videos, so please watch them, share them if you like that. And thanks for watching.